Hi boys and girls. Today I'll be showing you how to make equal groups on our equal groups map. I'm going to use counters today. You might choose to use counters or blocks. You will need your sheet in your right and wipe sleeve and you will need a whiteboard marker for this activity. Let's get started. Our first question says make four groups of three. So Mrs. Hanky needs to make four groups with three things in each of those groups. So looking at my board here, I can see there are lots of circles. Those are my groups, but I only need to make four groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count one, two, three, four. I'm going to circle them. One group, two group, three group, four group. And I'm actually going to cross out the ones that I do not need because I don't want to get confused. Now I have my four groups ready. How many things do I need to put in each of those groups? I need to put three things in each of those four groups. One, two, three. There's three things in my first group. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because I'm making a group of three. One, two, three. Now I have made one group, two group, three groups, four groups. And inside each of those groups is three counters. One, two, three in this one. One, two, three in this group. One, two, three in this group. And one, two, three in my last group. Moving to the bottom of my equal mat now, it says I have made mm, groups. Each group has mm, objects. This is that time symbol we were talking about. When we are making groups, we use this symbol in our number sentence. It looks a little bit like an X or a cross. That means how many groups of how many objects. And we know equal is where we write our answer. So looking back at our map, I have made how many groups? One, two, three, four. I have made four groups. Each group has mm, objects. How many counters are in each one? When I look at just one, how many counters does it have? It has three counters. So I'm going to use these same numbers. Four groups of three objects. And then I'm going to count how many all together. So four times three, four groups of three. And now I need to count how many all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. How many counters all together? There were 12. So four groups of three equals 12. Let's try another one. Our next question says six groups of two. So I need to make six groups with two objects inside each group. So moving to my map, I need to use how many circles? I need to use six circles. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, Six. I have my six groups and I'm going to cross these ones out so I don't get confused because I don't need any more than six. Now I'm going to put my counters in my groups. How many counters do I put in each? I put in two. Let's do that. Two in my first group. Two in my next group. Six groups of two. That's why there is two in each one. Are these equal if they all have the same number? Yes, they are. Moving to the bottom. I have made groups. Each group has objects. There's that time symbol again. How many groups of objects and what is our answer? Mrs. Henke has made one, two, three, four, five, Six big groups. I have made six groups. Each group has how many objects? So I'm looking at just one group. 
How many does it have? It has two objects. And then I'm going to use these same numbers and I'm going to put it into a number sentence. So six times two or six groups of two. And then my answer is how many counters altogether? Mrs. Hanky knows how to skip count by twos. So she's going to do that to get her answer faster. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. How many counters altogether? There are 12 counters. Six groups of two counters each equals 12 counters altogether.